daily life freedom. But with freedom comes responsibility. By nature, I was always a naughty child. So in our school days, when my mother would be cooking food, I would be standing next door in the kitchen also, exploring things, learning the recipes and without cooking, every day. And it is because of my mother. But like any other mother, my mother also would be curious to see the different box that she packed for me in the morning, whether I packed my lunch or food. And on three occasions I saw that I thought I should play a prank with him. Uh, can anyone guess what happened? When I came back, my day was full. So my mother opened the kitchen box. There was a frog inside the kitchen box. Flying frog which jumped out of her. And then after that, every time she was opening the kitchen box, she was exploring things with the grasshopper or the fish, the monsoon, and all these kind of things kept happening. So, there was a way of explaining things to me. Shouting, screaming or hitting did not work and neither did they ever shout. They had to change while messaging and that was enough for me to understand. So what I am indirectly trying to tell the parents here is don't shout at your children. Don't worry about the children making mistakes. We all make mistakes in life. But if you keep their wings, you don't allow them to fly, they will never learn in life. So you've got to give them the finger to fly. They will make mistakes. It is our responsibility that they correct them. And the competition should not be with anyone else. The competition should be with yourself. What you were yesterday, are you better today than that? And whatever you are today, can you get better tomorrow? So when you start competing with different programs, there is no way to that. So this is my message to all of you sitting here. If somebody has scored for, for example, if somebody has scored 20 runs, you scored 22 runs, doesn't mean you can achieve something big. But if you have scored 20 runs, how could you add one zero to that? You score two hundred runs. It is all about yourself. And then we are team sport. When we all come together and contribute significantly, the end result takes care of itself. Two years ago, I learned a lot of things when it comes to listening. Which is early childhood development. I think most most of us here did not realize that the first thousand days of a day are most important of any life. That is when the brain grows the most. And first the first two years it grows up to almost I think eighty seven percent if I want to say in the three years. Eighty. So, the more you speak to them, which is again, as we call it, eat, 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 pray, and laugh. Within those thousand days, the amount of time that you spend with them, you explain things to them. You show love, you show affection, it all stays with them. Today, when I look back at my life, I've got five minutes. No point I do. That is, I don't take a moment where I can look back and say, that was a terrible moment, that was a great thing I did. Not a single moment. And that experience is something which I also wanted to give to my children. They should enjoy their childhood, they should have the freedom to be what they want to be. So when it comes to my children, I never want to do anything. So it's my son's decision to take it. I am forced to do it. I think parenthood teaches you a lot of things. But the most important thing I realized was to have patience. If you are patient, then the results follow. Then you won't get angry with your children. You in fact end up learning.
It's evident that they want to continue getting better and better and that is as a whole the country for the children, mainly for the children, their rights. Uh, it is always such a great feeling, amazing feeling when you see children smile. 
and the childhood is something which those memories stay with you forever and ever. And I'm here basically just to spread that message on number of things which we feel sometimes are not important or sometimes we tend to ignore those things. It's only putting light on those things that I'm here as a UNICEF ambassador. I take a lot of pride in spreading this message. Thank you, Mr. Tendulkar, and thank you for reinforcing about children's rights. So moving on to your role as UNICEF Regional Goodwill Ambassador, why did you engage in this role? The, the good work that they've been doing for decades now, okay, it's, it's obvious that after, after uh, my first innings, in the second innings of my life, I, I've always said that I'll continue to back for India, but this is going beyond that and I'm so happy that I'm in this position. Uh, I know there are a number of things that uh, God of Britain and all that. I, I believe uh, God has given me the opportunity to play cricket. Through, through cricket, whatever I have been able to achieve, I think I'm in a position to share a number of messages with so many people around me and impact their lives. I think uh, this is where UNICEF comes in. Their reputation, their commitment, their hard work, their vision, their study, and making people aware of that in bettering their lives. Children are the future and, and that is really, really important. And that's the only reason I'm here because uh, what UNICEF, uh, with UNICEF I've been, there, I've been with them over a decade now. And each time the experience has been enriching. It has taught me so many things in life. Uh, we spoke about ECD also, which is early childhood development. And that I got to know, you know, later on in my life. Uh, by then my children had already grown up. And uh, we talk about the first thousand years. But of course having a doctor at home works. It works beautifully. My wife is a doctor, so the the time that we spent was was really really important for 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 my children. And uh, I also want to mention here there is a number of parents who've missed out on their first innings, which is the first thousand days when you spend time because number of those uh, babies must be now teenagers. But the adolescence uh, stage is the second innings is what I would say. It's never too late to spend time with them and impact their lives. And that is the only thing I've come here for, which is through UNICEF I've been able to learn. And I think uh, this is an important message if we are to change this planet. Thank you, Mr. Tendulkar, for everything you do for UNICEF and for everything you do for children. Um, UNICEF promotes right to play as an important right for every child. What is your view on children, children playing sport at a young age, including competitive sports? Age is only when we talk about numbers, but otherwise, I, think I, I, I played at the age of 16 against someone who was double my age. You know, it didn't matter. Once, once you are out uh, on the field, you compete, whoever it is against you, you compete. And then, uh, again, here, uh, I think uh, for children's development, to play is really important. And you, I've always been a part of team sport. So team sport is something which teaches you generally in life to, to sacrifice for someone, to back someone when that individual is not doing well, to celebrate someone else's success. I think these are strong messages which normally you sit in a classroom, you never experience them. Because once you go out, it's all live action and then a team sport teaches you all these things. You know, and then there is there is not a dull moment. The dressing room atmosphere taught me a lot. So it is it is all about moving forward as a team with one objective. It is all about taking care of each other and doing your best. I also shared downstairs uh, what my father shared with me when my career had started. 
He clearly told me that if you fail, I'll accept, but don't cheat. Don't find shortcuts. And that was that was uh, so relieving when you get such kind of encouragement. It is important for children to have the same feeling. Each and every child, when a child is competing, then encouragement is the only option. I don't think we should be looking at the other side of the coin. And they respond to that beautifully. So, I feel when children decide to play, they should be encouraged, they should be provided various platforms to express their talent and build their foundation as strong as possible. Thank you, Mr. Tendulkar. In a country like ours, India and Nepal, fans usually expect always big runs from players. Players get criticized, even bullied sometimes. You might also have gone through such experience. What made you ignore all those and just you know, keep going? I think it's a package deal. So when you score runs, you get raised. When you don't, there are people who criticize you. My message to the players would be don't get too attached to all these things. Lead a balanced life. If you do well, you don't need to celebrate and go over the top. Or if there are disappointments or failures, you don't need to be depressed either. Focus on finding solutions. Don't focus on problems. Focus on problems, there will always be problems. Each delivery is a question in itself. Look at answers. Don't focus on questions. If you have solutions, you will keep moving forward. And to people who criticize, I would like to uh, tell them that you know if it's a constructive criticism, players can take it. But if it isn't, then maybe one needs to look at himself and change. Uh, when the teams don't do well, that is when they look for support. When they're doing well, everyone is with them. So when they're not doing well, I think it's important to stand behind them, be rock solid and say that no matter what, we are with you. Because we know that you will turn things around and give us a reason to smile. So the best option is to you know, be with them, is what my message to everyone would be. Thank you. And finally, the final question. What message would you like to give to the children and people of Nepal? Children and people of Nepal, I found a lot of warmth, a lot of uh, caring, loving. And that is so important. That is what we need to do. That is what we need to spread across, not just in Nepal, but all over the globe. Uh, there are a number of things that we get to hear, which are unwanted, unwarranted. I'm sure with the right mindset, with balanced mindset, we can change those things and constant effort. And that is why, you know, my association with UNICEF is so dear to me, so important to me. Because we are looking to change lives. We have the capability to change lives if we all come together. If we all make this promise to ourselves that each day I'm going to try and make myself better than what I was yesterday. Then it works. I think the the most important thing here is to be a nice person. It really doesn't matter whether you are extremely successful, moderate, moderate or you are not successful in life. But if you are a nice human being, you are always liked. And that is again what my family taught me. The most important thing is to be a nice person. That is my message to everyone. Look to help each other. Give them a reason to smile and stay healthy and fit. This is my message to you. Thank you, Mr. Tendulkar, for making it so simple. Be a nice person. I think we can all be a nice person. So with this, I'd like to uh, announce that we are end of the press meet. Thank you very much for your patience and understanding.